Hi there, my name is Michael and in this video I'm gonna show you the progress of a new painting so come along and see how it takes form. The motive of this painting is from one of the cozy little streets in Sofo, Stockholm, Sweden. Sofo is one of the more iconic places for the 17 and 1800 buildings, so if you're ever in Sweden, don't forget to take a stroll around Södermalm. Now the photo reference I have is very bland, so I have to spice it up a lot to get that hyper romantic style that I prefer to paint. I also want to paint it a night scene so I can bring out the warm light from the windows and restaurants. I started out drawing up the important outlines in acrylics. I like to get the outlines in place when I'm painting a cityscape because the beholder is not so forgiving on perspective errors as you might have been with a landscape scene. I then continue adding the tonal values in acrylics. This gives me a better sense of what works. You might be too dark or too bright in areas which would ruin the rest of the scene, so better get those tones in right now. Finally, in my sketch stage, I add in some figures. The figures can be represented with just a line or two because they will be overpainted and redrawn later on, but it's a good idea to indicate them early so you know if they make sense or not. The placement of the figures can be very important because they require a lot of attention. There are many artistic rules to keep track of so I'll just mention one here and let you look up the others if you're interested. So take a look at Edward Hopper's Nighthawks. The placement of the figures are very deliberate. Where did your eyes land on this painting? I bet they landed on the lady in the red dress. Here I've divided the painting in three. This is a simplified golden ratio which says that the focus should be in one of the crosshairs. Also note that the house on the other side of the street is boring with quotation marks and the man sitting alone has his back turned. Both of these aspects pushes the interest to the lady in the red dress. Colors are important as well. If the lady had a black dress instead, surely the focus would land on a man in white. In any case, I'm going to implement these rules in my painting in a different way as I show you later on. And now I started the blocking stage with uh, oil paints, where you fill in the painting with a mid-tone of the final colors you want. I'll indicate a lot of figures inside a restaurant, but only as subtle shapes. I want the viewer to make up and add in a lot of the actions. And also I'm gonna add figures outside on the street, so they will take up more focus.
Since this is a central perspective, I want the most detail in the middle and then get progressively suggestive in the edges. I only add hints of stuff inside the windows, so not to take away too much focus. As in the Nighthawk painting, I will reduce detail and interest along the edges and in the windows furthest away. Adding the street signs was important to me because they look similar but different in different countries and now this painting makes a clear st statement that this is in Sweden. Lastly, I add the final highlights. This painting is finished for now, but most likely I'll go back and add on it time and time again until it's sold. As Leonardo da Vinci said, a painting is never finished, only abandoned. 
this is it for me. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments about this painting or anything else, please let me know in the comments below and stay tuned for more painting tutorials.